How's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we'll be talking about two newsletter apps that you guys can use for any business model that you have. It could be an e-commerce store, a blog site, or an online store, a dropshipping store, being MailChimp and ActiveCampaign. So we'll be going over the key differences between the two as well as their features, their pros and cons, and ultimately deciding which of the two platforms is the better option. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So let me start with uh, MailChimp. So this is what their homepage looks like. And their slogan goes, you turn your emails into revenue. So it pretty much goes without saying that the idea with MailChimp is increase um, social credibility and social proof for your store by giving your customers and audience a subscription system based on newsletters. So the cool thing about MailChimp right off the bat is that you can customize your newsletters based on their built-in AI called in into, uh, Intuit Assist. So it's a very cool um, application that allows you to design and fully customize your newsletters, whatever it may be. So it, des it definitely helps with um, credibility and boosting your sales when it comes to uh, this subscription-based format. So as far as the pricing goes, um, MailChimp comes with a free plan, although it's a bit limited when it comes to the features. But uh, the fact remains that it still gives you a free plan, which is cool. So moving on to uh, active campaign, as you can see here, it also gives you the same deal. It's a newsletter app that comes with other main features such as um, CRM, sales automations, um, project management and whatnot, integration with um, a lot of stores such as Shopify, Wix and whatnot. It also com comes with um, a full-time or I should say um, real-time site tracking data and analytics. So that's pretty cool. Now, the question remains, which one of these two platforms is the better? Now, that depends on what you guys need. If you're looking for solely a sales and marketing automation for um, newsletters, then I would opt for uh, MailChimp as that's what it's mainly for. But um, there's more flexible room when it comes to um, active campaign because you can use it for a different couple, uh, a different number of applications such as CRM, lead scoring, sales automation, project management, marketing, e-commerce, and whatnot. So it's going to depend on what you guys need it for. But if you're opting for newsletters, like I said, then MailChimp. But if you need it for um, other uses, then go for ActiveCampaign. So yeah, um, hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos. So with all that said, Thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.